Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will solve this equation. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is x squared plus x minus 30 is equal to 0. Now, to solve this problem, we need to identify first what kind of equation is this. By the way, this one is an example of quadratic equation because the exponent or the degree or the highest exponent of this equation is 2. Now, after identifying what equation it is, we need to know what is the proper way on how to solve this because we have four different ways on how to solve a quadratic equation. We have extracting the square roots, we have factoring, we have completing the square, and we have quadratic formula. And in this kind of equation, what do you think is the appropriate way to solve this one? Okay, very good. We can use factoring, completing the square, or quadratic formula. But tonight, or today, we will do factoring. So how do we factor? First, we will prepare set of parentheses. So we will prepare two sets of parentheses. Now, sir, how are we going to factor this out? To factor this out, guys, let us see first the equation. As you can see, the first term is simply x squared. If the quadratic equation, or if the first term of the, of the quadratic equation is x squared, it simply means that the coefficient is only 1. If that is the case again, if the coefficient of your first term in a quadratic equation is simply 1, or the term is x squared, the first terms of the factors are x and x. Because when you multiply x times x, that is x squared. So the only problem here is to find out what are the second terms of these factors. And to see that, we need to know what are the factors of 30 that will give us the coefficient of 1. So let's start and list down all the factors of 30 first. Or negative 30. We have negative 30. Since 30 is negative, we need to say that the sign of the two factors that we're trying to find are different. Okay? So let's start with positive 1 and negative 30. So is this, are these factors of negative 30? Yes, because 1 times negative 30 is negative 30. Another one, another factors is negative 1 and the other is positive 30. Still, it will give you negative 30. Next, let's try positive 2 and negative 15. So if you have positive 2 and negative 15, definitely we have negative 2 and 15. So what are the other factors? I say we have 3. Okay, so we have positive 3 and negative 10. We have negative 3 and positive 10 and I think we can still continue we have 5 and negative 6 because it is, this one is 30 negative 5 and positive 6 now earlier before finding out the factors of negative 30 I told you that to find the second terms of these factors what we need is the factors of negative 30 that will give us the sum of 1 or positive 1. And again, all of this will give us the product of negative 30. What we need to do is to find out which one will give us the positive 1 as the sum. Or when we add them, the sum is equal to 1. So let's try out. Here, on the first part, 1 plus negative 30 is negative 29. Okay? This one, when we add them, this is positive 29. Here, when we add this, 
we have this negative 13. This is positive 13. Again, guys, why is this negative 29? Because 30 is greater than 1. So we need to copy the negative. Let's continue. This is negative 7. This is positive 7. And as you can see, these two factors are quite good for us to get the desired sum, which is 1. 1 plus negative 6 is negative 1. Negative 5 plus 6 is positive 1. And as you can see, this is what we need. We have negative 5 and negative and positive 6. So we will put here plus 5, oh sorry, plus 6, then minus 5. So, and then equal to 0. Now guys, let me tell you that we can check our answer, whether our factors are correct. Okay, I will use a separate paper or separate sheet for us to know whether the factors are correct. Is Are these factors can give us x squared plus x minus 30? Yes. By doing it backwards or by using FOIL method. Okay? So let's say x times x, that is x squared. Then x times negative 5, that is negative 5x. 6 times x, that is plus 6x. Then 6 times negative 5, that is negative 30. And as you can see, when you add this, it will give us x squared plus x minus 30 is equal to 0. And as you can see, they're the same. So again, let's continue solving this problem or this equation. So what we have now is x plus 6 times x minus 5 is equal to 0. So how do we solve this equation? What we need to do is to equate each factor by 0. We have x plus 6 is equal to 0. Then the other one is x minus 5 is equal to 0. What we need to do is transpose this to the other side. From positive 6, it will become negative 6. Meaning, the first solution or the first value of x is negative 6. What about the other? x minus 5 is equal to 0. Transpose this to the other side. This is x is equal to, from negative, it will become positive. So this is 5. So the solutions are negative 6 and 5 for this problem. So now guys, as part of our routine, I want you to try this one and put down on our comment section what is your answer in this problem. Try this one. Let's have x squared plus 4x plus 12 is equal to 0. So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to solve a quadratic equation. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!